Medicare and Medicaid are some of the most important things that uh, we have as an initiator of the federal government for the quality of life of people in this country. The, uh, the Medicare situation and, follow, and then followed by Medicaid was set up with a Lyndon B. Johnson campaign back in the 1960s. And it has been increasingly effective. More and more has been done to make it stronger and more, more effective since then. And that needs to be maintained. But in the meantime, we've had operations that have been trying to do the opposite, trying to make it weaker, trying to downslide it, and to eliminate it. Take, for example, what George W. Bush and the uh, Republican majority in the campaign in, in, in Congress in Washington did back in 2005. They provided prescription drugs in the context of Medicare, but they wouldn't allow the negotiation of the price of prescription drugs. So they knew that that was, a, for their advantage, something they wanted to see done because that would drive up the cost of prescription drugs and it would drive up the money that was being spent by Medicare and it would reduce the quality of Medicare, reduce the quality by wasting its money more and more. We are now in the, in the, in the uh, process of changing that, trying to get the cost of prescription drugs to be negotiated. Take, for example, what uh, the uh, federal military operation pays for prescription drugs. They negotiate the price, and they pay about a third of what Medicare is paying for prescription drugs. This is something that can be changed and can be changed effectively. But, na but now, what they're trying to do, and what they passed last Friday in the House of Representatives, is privatizing Medicare, eliminating the Medicare system, and putting it in the hands of, of private operations, so that the private operations can charge whatever price they want and deal whatever any way they want with the, uh, with the people who need the health care. That, of course, is going to drive up the price dramatically, just as the uh, prescription drug operation has driven up the price and continues to do so. That will continue to drive up the price dramatically and it will basically weaken and weaken and weaken Medicare. But the Senate will go. And eventually eliminate it is what they want to do. The but Senate will go along with it. I don't think the Senate will go along with it. I hope not because there's a Democratic majority in the Senate and I think that Democratic majority is going to be able to stop this privatization of Social Security. And even if they didn't, which I think they will, but even if they didn't, I think Obama would veto it. But nevertheless, it's so interesting, so interesting that these people in Congress who are Republicans are doing what they can to injure the health care and the Medicare of Republicans out across this country. Republicans, Democrats, everybody. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. 